Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can attach a PSPICE simulation model to a component that you imported. Now, this is a question from somebody. They got an XML file for a component. They did the file import library XML, created the library. So what I did, it was I took it from there and I got this library, added it to a project. It's a little dummy project. In the project, I enabled piece by simulation when I created it. Now, I'm going to place this part and show you what I'm talking about. The problem is when we choose to place the part from this library that was import, imported, double click, place it, most likely from Ultra Librarian, which is fine. It has a footprint name, that's cool. But if I try to run this, right? Like if I go to source, look for a VDC. And I double click it, place a VDC there, place a ground on it on here, then uh, route this connection. This is a fresh unedited version of the symbol, by the way. So I double click on here, change this to nine volts, hit enter, you know, click save. Then when I try to, well, I create a new simulation profile. When I run the simulation profile, the error I get is uh, it'll show up shortly. It runs it, but here's what happens. The device cannot be simulated. No piece by template found in LED. We're not ignoring this for that green marker. So how do we fix this problem? When I right click and choose associate piece by model, it says part LED one is hierarchical. Piece by model cannot be attached to hierarchical parts. So I'm like, well, I never encountered this problem before, but let's take a look at it. If it's hierarchical, that means there's something going on with how it's built. So let's right click and edit the part. Click X out of here. It's not necessarily wrong, but let's see. I noticed the implementation type is set to schematic view. Let's change that to either none or piece by model or something like that. Let's let's try for none. Click outside of the field, right click, close, update all, yes, save. And in this situation, can we right click and associate a piece by model? No, it's still hierarchical. So let's right click, edit the part again and see if it got changed. No, it's still a schematic view. It's really weird. Let's do piece by model. Right click, close, update all, yes. Yes, here we go, click yes. Now that did it. So we change it to P Spice model and we can choose our model library. Now click on browse. You wanna click on this folder, like this directory, SPB underscore 17 point, okay. C cadence SPB underscore 17.4 tools P Spice library. Then you would look in the diode section somewhere, probably. I don't know, whatever uh, library has LEDs and stuff like that. So you can go on the diode LED uh, dot lib, click on here. This has pins one and two. It has the characteristics you need, something like that. I know it's an LED, not just a diode, but I'm just giving you an example here. And you would update the selected and then click OK. Now, when we try to run the simulation, we can hit it with run and get no error. It's not ignoring it anymore. How do I know that? It's because it didn't give the error this time. And also I can put my voltage level marker and see the difference in voltage. It's being separated by this LED. Now, if you want the actual LED simulation library, you can go to maybe place piece by component and then your discrete instead of diode you can do like a, you can do a modeling application you know um, you can have seen her led and then determine what characteristics you want and then you can place it and then there you go um, that can work you can also just go place component search for piece by specific library this library lets you search for for um, only parts that can be simulated so here we would look at optoelectronics leds 
maybe the five millimeter one amber light. And then in this one, we have, if we look at it, it shows the library at the bottom. So we go to tools, capture library, piece by piece, Osram 5mm radio dot OLB. So we need the Osram library. Let's try it out. Go here, right click, associate piece by piece model. Yes, sure. We'll choose Osram instead. So just type in Osram, very nice, 5mm radio. And here we are looking at the LA541B underscore typical, show symbol. Right, this one, right? And then we can choose which symbol pins gets matched to which model terminals. The anode, oh, wait a second. Symbol pin number two would be the anode, right? And then the cathode is, oh, excuse me, wait a second, wait a second. Pin number one is the cathode. Ah, see, gotta be careful. So let's choose not the cathode and symbol one is the, uh, pin one is the anode. You can update selected or update all. Let's do update all. Now let's delete this DRC marker. Now save your project, run your simulation again. See what happens. Same thing, except this time it has the LED simulation profile instead of the just diode simulation profile, same thing. But that is how you can work around or get around uh, parts you download from say Ultra Librarian or any parts creator. If you run into that issue, look at how the part is built, the schematic implementation, piece by implementation, modify it and then add the appropriate piece by model or associate the appropriate piece by model. All right. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps.